Hey, so the lunch. Tim Martin from DCSPCA is here. Zumba is here as well. If you missed it before the break, this little delight. What's the story here, Tim? She's six months old. Here, I'm going to give you some of these. Okay. Uh, she's six months old. Uh, she was brought in because her family had allergies, and they said she needs a lot of exercise, a lot of activity. Yeah. She's a border collie, so we know uh, if she comes from a working line, uh, she, she's uh, border collies in general need lots of activity and exercise and things to do because they're bred to go for hours and hours and miles a day to to work a farm. So, you know, realize that when you're getting them and you're in the city and you want a dog that you can just take for a couple of walks for during the day. She's not that type of dog. Got to keep this one busy. Already yeah. yawning. I know these hours are early, Zumba. That's yes. okay. But you're here also talking about uh, health tips as we move into the fall uh, for our dogs. And uh, first things first, allergies. What do we notice with dogs with the allergies? Right. So. So what you want to, uh, like us, like humans, we have allergies at different seasons, uh, things in the air and the environment, like pollen. Dogs can have allergies also. So what I always recommend to people, if you notice a change in your dog's behavior, so if they're chewing, scratching, shaking their head, like they're just doing something that they don't normally do and they're doing it constantly, contact your veterinarian. Talk to them, find out because maybe it's they're allergic to something in the environment. Yeah, and uh, things if we're going on the dog walks, what about leaves, what about mushrooms, what are right, we seeing right. uh, as risk factors? So this time of year, lots of mushrooms, this environment, lots of mushrooms in our backyards. Uh, what I would do is if you think your dog, one, I'd clean up my backyard, get rid of the mushrooms, but if you think your dog has eaten one, uh, contact your veterinarian and ask them what to do because they can be poisonous, some of them. Yeah, and uh, things uh, as simple as, I know we're in fall, but preparing for winter, winter tires going on the antifreeze in the garage. Right, uh, it's that tip that we can never stop reminding each other about. Uh, yeah. If we're using anti antifreeze, if your dog or your cat gets in and starts uh, licking or drinking it, uh, make sure that you contact your vet again. Yeah. Use pet safe antifreeze, yeah. just things like that. What about the idea of shedding? Should we expect that as uh, the season changes with uh, with most breeds? Yes, uh, as the uh, weather and temperatures change coming inside, they'll start shedding a bit more. Uh, just with the heat, uh, just even even with stress, when when they're stressed, they'll shed a bit more too. So yes, be prepared for that. Fleas. Fleas and ticks. Oh, fleas and ticks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, be watching for those. Always be checking your dog. Like, like what you're doing now is you're you're petting. So you're watching TV, watching BT. You're touching and, and petting, and you're just checking for fleas, for ticks, anything like that. Yeah. And then uh, contact your vet. Okay, and when we're going on the dog walks, frequency and time, uh, you brought up an important point with these darker hours now, visibility is something right, to watch out right. for. Right, As it gets darker earlier, we, we, we remind ourselves, you know, oh, make sure you're wearing something that the drivers can see us or cyclists. Uh, same thing with our dogs. We want to make sure that people can see them. We may have them off leash and they're running, but cars can't see them. It's mm -hmm. dark out, right? So we just remember and think, um, how can I protect them? It's our job to protect them and make sure that nothing happens to them because uh, somebody driving down the street may not see them. They don't do it on purpose. It just they may not see them. So let's think of our dogs and figure out how we can um, keep them safe. And do we need to layer them up? I know they got this coat of fur, but as temperatures right. drop, when do we know it's time to, to put some extra covering on? That's that's a great, uh, great question. So for me, I see a lot of people in the rain, uh, they put raincoats on their dogs. One, sometimes dogs don't like it. They're not comfortable with the body handling. Yeah. So you could, you could train them. They could get them used to that, which is great. Yeah. Uh, when you're going to the dog park, Maybe not wear the dog jackets, just because if dogs are playing, they, they're playing, they might I mean, injure themselves, but they also can't read each other, right? So if your dog is nervous and they, you know, they stop, just they, they communicate and read each other through body language, and if they're wearing a coat, you can't, they can't communicate that way. So maybe take it off when you get to the dog park. Good tips, some healthy morning slobber right here to get it going. Zumba! Maybe Zumba could be joining your family. Uh, check out the website. So we'll put details on our Facebook page as well. Kim, thanks so much for coming by. Thanks for having us. Zumba, you were so good. So good. Listen, we'll take a break.